Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition. Today, we're installing a Load Lifter 5000 Series Kit on a 2019 Ford F-150. Installation will be nearly identical between the Load Lifter 5000, Load Lifter 5000 Ultimate, and Load Lifter 5000 Ultimate Plus variations. Remember, this overview doesn't replace your installation guide. Grab yours out of the box and let's get started. Raise the truck with a floor jack and support the frame with safety stands. Drop the axle to make room for the air spring assemblies between the frame and the leaf springs. For filming purposes, we're using a drive-on vehicle hoist. Begin by removing the factory jounce bumper using a 13 millimeter socket and an extension. Thread the included M10 flange head bolt into the locations created by the removal of the jounce bumpers. Install the upper brackets by pushing the bracket up against the frame so the flanged bolt passes through the keyway in the bracket. Tighten the flanged nut, making sure the vertical portion of the bracket is touching the side of the frame. Remove the brake line tabs attached to both sides of the leaf spring perches with a 10 mm socket. Then remove the plastic clip from the ABS line on the right side of the axle. A small portion of the brake line bracket needs to be cut to allow for proper clearance of the lower bracket. Remove the wiring harness and ABS line from the brake line bracket. Move them out of the way so there's enough room to cut. Measure approximately 1.375 inches from the edge of the bracket and make the cut using a cutoff wheel, air reciprocating saw, or a hacksaw. Determine the spacing between the upper and lower brackets by temporarily setting the lower bracket into position and lower the frame of the truck so that it's sitting at ride height. Measure the distance from the lower bracket to the upper bracket. If the measurement is between 6.75 inches to 7.5 inches, the included spacers will be required. If your truck does not require the spacers, use the included shorter hardware. Next, we will show assembling and installing the air springs using the included spacers. Place a carriage bolt through the front hole on the lower brackets. Flip the air spring upside down and place the roll plate, spacer, and lower bracket on the air spring. Thread the hex head screw with a flat washer and lock washer finger tight. Keep all hardware loose enough to allow for the air spring to slide front to back. Flip the assemblies upright and install the air fittings to finger tight plus one and a half turns. Relift the truck and let the axle hang. Place the assemblies on the axle with the tabs wrapping around the leaf spring perch. Install the included self-threading screw and brake line tab on the spring perch. On the front side of the lower bracket, use the self-threading bolt to secure the front tab to the spring perch. Install the remaining two carriage bolts onto the lower brackets. Insert the clamp bars over the carriage bolts using the serrated flange nuts to attach the lower bracket assembly to the axle. Place the last two roll plates on top of the air springs, making sure the mounting holes are lined up with the threaded holes on the air springs. Raise the axle enough to allow the top of the air spring to move around a bit. Install the mounting hardware attaching the air spring to the upper bracket. Thread the hardware finger tight. Place the U-bolt over the top of the frame and pass the ends through the two holes on the front side of the upper bracket. Thread the serrated flange nuts onto both sides. Torque the mounting hardware on the top and bottom. Zip tie the wiring harnesses and ABS line out of the way as to avoid any rubbing. Before routing air lines to the air springs, note the available length and pick a convenient inflation valve drilling location. You could use the wheel well flanges inside the gas cap access door or the license plate recess for securing the inflation valve. Install the Schrader valve in its chosen location, place a nut and star washer on the inflation valve and push it through the inflation valve hole. Use a rubber washer, flat washer and a nut to secure it in place. Then twist on the valve cap. When cutting air lines, never cut from the side or with wire cutters. You'll leave a jagged edge and ruin the hose. Instead, use a sharp razor blade to get a square, clean cut. It is recommended that the air line be routed along the top of the frame, then down to the fitting. Next, install the thermal sleeve over the air line on the passenger side to protect the air line from exhaust. Finally, attach the metal heat shield to the exhaust where it's closest to the passenger side air spring. If you're installing a kit with braided stainless steel air lines, please consult your installation guide. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com. And our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.